Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we have the 3.1 game update notes so let's get straight into the video. Now I've been through this a little bit I've read through it and there's some exciting things coming this month in Disney Miraverse so we're going to start with the new guardians coming so this is the image and who do you think it is well the answer is Peter Pan and Kasuko. Now Kasuko is a support guardian and Peter Pan is a melee guardian so those are the two new guardians coming out this month in Disney Miraverse. So we're just going to go over the different stuff coming in this month. So we have Master Difficulty. Now, if you saw the other day, I uploaded a video where I was just explaining all the issues with Disney Miraverse. And one of the big issues is just content and stuff for people to actually work towards. Now, Master Difficulty basically is what we need right now. So the Guardians may be powerful, but the Fractured are ready to test the limits of their power. Take on a new level of challenge in event quests, master difficulty. Not only are all enemies much more robust, but all encounter buffs are disabled. Gather your guardians to tackle this test of skill and stand against these powerful guardians. The first event to feature quests with this new difficulty will be the Scarlet Skies campaign starting the 17th of this month. So I'm so excited for this new difficulty. So that means better rewards as well. And it's just some more stuff to do in Disney Miraverse. So we've got the Blood Moon Showdown. A new type of event quest is coming to the Miraverse, the Blood Moon Showdown. Here players can only bring in one Guardian to face enemies and only use heavy and special attacks. However, don't let your guard down. Your opponent's attacks are much more deadlier than usual, making world time dodges key to completing each battle. These are quick, intense fights that reward skillful playing. Test your might, survive the Blood Moon and reap the rewards. And this comes on the 22nd, so I'm so excited for this as well. Another event that basically you can only bring in one Guardian and you can only use your heavy and special attacks. And obviously your opponents are just going to deal so much more damage, so you've got to dodge and just make sure you're dashing in at the right times. And yeah, this is really exciting as well. More content, more stuff to do and just a bit of a challenge. So I'm looking forward to this coming out. Dangerous Dungeons update. So updated the maximum infantry from 10 to 15 from each of the following dungeons consumables. We have the magical maps, downs in ones, tier 1 invisibility scrolls and tier 2 invisibility scrolls. So this is really good as well. It's just increasing the infantry space and it just makes it so much easier to actually hold all these items and not let them run out. There's also been a issue that's been fixed where if a dungeon event has expired but players have no points on the leaderboard, the leaderboard button will not appear so just more fixes. And then we've got Rift Raids update. The Rift Raid store will be open starting the week of the 19th. The store will be accessible from Fridays at 6 o'clock to Sundays to 6 o'clock in order to give all the Alliance the same amount of access to the store regardless of the time of their individual raid start. The Rift Raid store is available in the main menu under the Stardust tab. So this is exciting as well. The store will have different potions to purchase including a new tier 3 Rift potions and a free Rift potion every 4 hours which is really good. Use the refresh button to restore the entire store's inventory similar to the Bizarre store. So yeah, this is really really good. A new store coming. And you're going to get free items as well. You can refresh it every few hours. So yeah, this is really good as well. So just more fixes with Rift Raids. Not really important. We've got Captain Hook as well. Just changing him up and making him more exciting. So you can see Captain Hook getting his buff. So his special ability is just more damage. Different talents. So yeah, this is really good as well. I'm excited to test him out. Captain Hook gets his buff. Obviously because we have Peter Pan coming. So Captain Hook is getting the buff. And yeah, he looks pretty decent just based off these ability changes. And we have updates and improvements. So there's not much here, you know, just quality of life improvements just to make things a little bit easier. So yeah, that is it. Honestly, I'm really excited for this update. We have a new store. We have lots of different things coming into the game. Just more stuff to do, more content, new events where you can actually test your skill. And yeah, I'm really excited for it. So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you did like it, please leave like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.